Stepping into the quiet town of Casadega, Florida feels both peaceful and alarming. Amidst the unusual architecture and ominous Spanish moss dangling from the treetops, it's a total trip back in time and maybe even another dimension. I'm seeing something strange today on Cool Stuff, Strange Things. So yeah, a quiet Florida town in the middle of nowhere is creepy enough on its own, but what makes Casadega even stranger? The town's residents claim they can communicate with the deceased. Established in 1894, the Casadega Spiritualist Camp comes from very mysterious beginnings. 27-year-old medium George P. Colby was instructed by his spirit guide, a Native American named Seneca, to bring spiritualism to Florida. Seneca instructed Colby to search for an area with rolling hills and linked lakes, what is now known as Casadega. But what is spiritualism anyway? It's a science, philosophy, religion, and believe it or not, can be accredited to three young girls, Leah, Maggie, and Kate Fox. In 1848, in the bedroom of their Hydesville, New York home, these sisters allegedly communicated with spirits through sequence of raps and taps. Quickly becoming a national sensation, the Fox sisters went on tour, drawing large crowds of both believers and skeptics who never found any evidence of trickery. Casadega mediums communicate with spirits through many different senses, or clairs, like hearing, clairaudience, seeing, clairvoyance, knowing, clairrecognizance, and feeling, clairsentience, bridging the spiritual and physical world. Can we truly communicate with the dead, or are humans just extremely susceptible to the power of suggestion? Historically, skeptics have tried to debunk seances by binding mediums with ropes, gagging them, and even sealing them in spirit cabinets to see if phenomena would occur despite restraint. Many believe these events can be explained by manipulation, but in Casadega, they are truly a spiritual experience. Visitors have experienced many forms of phenomena during seances at the Colby Memorial Temple, including abhorts, objects appearing to materialize and fall from the ceiling. Crazy. In the 1920s, magicians, including Harry Houdini, began to prove they could replicate what mediums were doing. Believe what you want about spiritualists of Casadega, but just remember, despite his disbelief after the death of his mother, Houdini sought the help of a medium. I'm Sabrina Seek, and I'll be back next week with more cool stuff and strange things.